Hello everybody and welcome to Pokemon Emerald 386, the partial kind of finale. I uh, just want to show something off real quick in case you didn't watch the mini episode, or in case you're a new viewer, I ended up somehow getting a shiny muck. I do not know how, I don't know how I'm that lucky, but I got a muck. A shiny one at that, so pretty cool. And with that said, we shall be going on to fight the one and only Elite Four. I was told that they were going to be pretty difficult, and, well, all my Pokemon are level 80, except for, you know, our HM Slave, main one, Zigzagoon. But, we are fighting Sydney of the Elite Four. I guess you'll give me a good match, that's good, it's looking real good. Alright, using me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. So, I don't exactly really know the Elite Four very well in pretty much any game, so we'll see what happens. Oh man, an Umbreon level 74. Precisely why I brought everyone to level 80, so I can be a little bit higher, but by the end I'm not really going to be higher. So much Earthquake does. Not very much, yeah. Oh, Confuse Ray. What a... Damn it. That's alright. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Honestly, someone else might be better here. But who? Um. You know what? Let's go with Tentacruel, actually. I probably should have gone with the. Uh... Really plain? I probably should have gone with the Magnemite, but. Oh well. Or Magneton. Holy crap. My brain is just like. Right now, I don't know what it is. Holy crap, I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not very good at the Elite Four. Probably. As you can see, this Umbreon is actually taking a hell of a beating. But he can take it. Ah, oh, man. I mean, I do have 99, like, Max Revives and 99, well, not really Max Revives, but Revival Herbs. Which is basically a, you know, oh my gosh. Come on. Really? The very first Pokemon I'm having trouble with? The absolute very first one. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. Umbreon's just an asshole Pokemon though. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I didn't do very much, bitch. What are you gonna do? Huh? I'm gonna use Thunderbolt. much damage this will do. Not bad, I guess. Not great. I'm actually faster than it though, so that's cool. I doubt this will kill it. Wow, it did. I'm, I guess I was wrong. All right, I'll take that. Uh, Tyranitar. Interesting. Now is when I send out Tentacruel. Pinnacle should be able to do pretty well. I believe this is ground and obviously it's dark, but I think it's ground as well. Oh, well, we'll see. Sandstream, huh? Interesting. Man, is level 80 not gonna be high enough? It's definitely possible. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. I am pretty confident though. Oh, close. Earthquake, yep, tentacles out. No problem there. He's out. Fuck. Man, this is gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought. I mean, I, I knew it was gonna be difficult, of course, but I wasn't expecting to be slaughtered on like the very first freaking trainer. Hmm. I'm confident in my team, though. Interesting. Citrus berry, that's gonna heal it by quite a bit. Alrighty. Uh, the reason I have Focus Punch is just in case there's a... Either a Pokemon that uses Rest, or more, more importantly, a... Yeah, I don't know what it was, so... I'll Hound him. Well, there you go. But more importantly, um... Snorlax. We'll see if there's one there. Oh, God, 
Alrighty. Well, cotton swabs, I mean, tend, tend to cool out, which I can always bring them back, but I'm gonna send out a cotton swabs out. Ooh, it's gonna do quite a bit. Not very much. Uh, I believe two earthquakes would take Houndoom out. I doubt it would be one. I'd be extremely surprised if it is just one. It would do quite a bit of damage though, but not, you know... Not the most... Uh, wow, I did. All right, all right. Clearly, I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to... I can't gauge how much a move will do. I mean, I've never been able to gauge it very well. Shiftry? Yeah, I'm gonna change... Or... Keep. Wait, so Shiftry is grass and dark, I guess. Interesting. Well, that's no problem. I do have a uh, air lace anyway. Which is down there now. Hmm. I can always move it if I want to. Ooh, close. Ooh, sword stance. That's scary. He might heal him though. If he does, then uh, I'll still be able to beat him. Oh, it's gonna be close though. Yep, almost. Yep, as I expected. That's alright. Because that wastes his turn, then I can always just use Air Lace twice. So I'm not too worried. Man, at this rate, it will be just one uh, Elite Four person per episode. Holy moly. Cause I don't want it to be too long. I kind of want it. Oh, really? Fine, wasting both. I don't care. Because I kind of want to just. Uh, I don't know. Keep it clean, I guess. Maybe just not have it like so. I don't know. Strewn apart, I guess. <laughs> if that makes sense. If it doesn't, then by all means, let me know. There we go. Shifter's out. And I believe there's just one Pokemon left, I think. Could be wrong on that. Crawdont. Well, you know what they say. Uh, actually, let's send out him. Because he'll be able to do more damage for sure. Crawdon I'm not worried about. Unless, this, of course, this part rock. Or actually, no, rock wouldn't matter. I believe it would be ground that would matter. Well, it worked, so that's good. This will definitely take out Crawdon. Whew, there we go, Sydney's out. That was difficult. Dark is kind of hard to fight against. In terms of a uh, special uh, or super effective. Well, uh, this listen has what? God, I can't even read. I can't read at all. All right, um, Revivaler, the one person that died. Alrighty, so in the next episode, we will take on the next one. I'm not sure who it is, but we will find out in the next episode. I kind of want it to be a bit, uh, how shall we say, cliffhanger-ish. So yeah, no one actually getting a level from that. Huh. Right. Well, in the next episode, we will find out who it is. So until next time, guys, have a great day.